Today's the day I pick up Tron from the airport. That's at 1. It's 3.32 in the morning, so like 11, like 11 hours. Huh, next thing you know, I'm going to be there parking at AliEx, and it's going to suck. Now it's 11.33 and it's time to go get Tron. So what Tron doesn't know... So I'm gonna go get Tron right now. And she thinks we're gonna go get McChickens at McDonald's to save money for our Korean barbecue. Cause we're supposed to have that because we always have Korean barbecue. But she's been gone since December 2018, so it's been a year and two, going on three months. Almost three months, because she left the 14th. So she thinks we're going to go eat some big chickens, hang out at home, and then uh, drop her stuff off at her aunt's house, and then we go to school together, she goes with me. But what's really happening is Korean barbecue is happening tomorrow, she knows that. And we're going to have pozole at the house. And she has no idea. She thinks Pozole is coming next Sunday, but Pozole came this yesterday, which was Sunday. Oh, I hate the gas station. Alright, some of Tron's favorite things to eat are... I just passed Chick Chick-fil-A, so chicken minis. Oh my gosh, I wish I had a YouTube channel the first time she ate chicken minis. That was the most disturbing and funniest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. She was cheating on me with chicken minis. That just that, that she did that to say the least. It was crazy. Her eyes rolled back. It was I don't know. I didn't know I didn't know what to feel about it. So I don't like to get her that. But she likes that. Korean barbecue, sushi, wings from Salmon Wild Casino. But they closed down the poker room. That's where the wings are from. So we're gonna go check one day the casino. See if they still at least have the wings. Cause the poker room's not there anymore. But maybe they still have the wings. And she didn't know what she was gonna have all week or when she was gonna have it. Like when was she gonna eat Chick-fil-A minis, sushi, Korean barbecue, pozole, all that stuff. Because she didn't bring so much money. But it's funny because if that were me and I came to this country with like $200 and I knew what I wanted to eat, I would just eat it all in one day. I don't even know where to go. What gate? Well, I don't know the flight number. I don't know the gate. I don't know international. I don't know. It should be international because it's Peru. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Where to go? I don't know where to go. I haven't had any sign if Ruby just landed yet. And it's 120. She's supposed to be here at 1 ish. I guess it's 1 ish. Come on. I hate airports. Teptron? I will. I will. Oh my god, they injured Ruby for like 10 minutes over there. They were over 10 minutes. I like they did to me in Peru. That's what you get. <laughs> Be a good cameraman. <laughs> Alright, Tron. So I haven't even put my super yet. Daylight saving just happened. Yesterday, huh? Um, yeah, something like that. It was uh, Sunday. Sunday at 2 in the morning, and I had no idea. And I was awake, so I didn't really feel the time change. I don't know why people say the time change is crazy. I never feel it. I never it is feel crazy. it. It's crazy. I always feel that when, hour. That when hour I, kills me. When I go to Peru, I don't feel anything. And it's a two hour difference. You got money? No money. No money at all. I wonder, I think, I don't know how much it's going to charge. Betty last name was like seven, I think. Your voices. They sound so different in person. I'm paying here? I don't need anyone to help me. No, you were, you were supposed to already pay. Huh. You need to work on this one. Five dollars, that's a lot. Paid receipt. There's a receipt. No receipt, just go. No? I want the receipt. Ah, don't close on me. <laughs> <laughs> you were gonna pay again. That's how much you cost, Tron. Five dollars. 
It's so cheap. It's a spoiled brat. We're gonna go eat McDonald's by my house, okay? I'm gonna hang out at the house and then take you to your aunt's house and then go to my school, okay? So Tron, you want Korean barbecue, but you just gave me your sandwich that they gave you on the plane. So what makes you think you're gonna finish that if you can't even finish that tiny sandwich? That's what I said. That's pretty much If only Korean day. barbecue let us take the food home. They'd be amazing. We'd go every single day. <laughs> I would tell them to go play. And then we did, do need to have Korean Yeah, I haven't had Korean barbecue in over a year and you haven't had it in over, way over, like longer than me. So I haven't, we both haven't really had it. I don't get why don't you go carpool. Well, I took you the wrong, me. I messed up, you have me, like that's what I'm for. I missed the freeway, so I got to exit now, which I should be doing. So Tron, are you ready to become a power lifter? No problem. <laughs> you gonna take steroids and everything? You look like Steffi Cohen? <laughs> they call you? I know what I want. The okay, one by Korean okay, barbecue. Okay, 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 hold on. Bova. They have Connect Four. I'll beat your ass so bad. I didn't explain anyone your name. Tron. Fries Electronics is your favorite store, right? No. The what? Fries Electronics. You don't know what that is? No. That's like La Puente area. Speaking How am I of. How supposed to know? I'm Paisa. Oh, Tron Electronics. Tron. We're never gonna get home because it's far. Yeah, 20 hours from now. 20 hours. This is what she's talking about. <laughs> well, Peru has a lot of traffic though. You should be used to this. Yeah, but not two hour traffic. There's 10 million people in Peru. I mean, Lima, Lima. I don't know, but there's no two hour traffic. Look, Tron, no more traffic. No more traffic. Show your faces! No! Let's go pick up Sosimo. On our way to pick up Sosimo. <laughs> <laughs> so after being on a plane for 12, 8 hours and like being in traffic for like 2, how does it feel? I wanna die. How does your butt feel? I don't have a butt anymore. I don't feel anything down there. <laughs> on this whole way, Tron has been like hyper and now she's just like <laughs> you gotta say hi to the animals. Where's the big surprise? The animal. Pick her up. How will you ever? How will you ever do people for work? Don't help me. Alright, Tron. So we need to talk. She is gonna love it. I need to shut up. Oh. We need to talk. Okay. What do you think is waiting for you? I have no idea. Oh, Corona! <laughs> oh, corona, yeah, oh, coronavirus. That's what's waiting for you. You guys? Come on. Close. Come on, girlfriend. The devil is Masole! Masole? Masole! Masole! Okay, give me 20 plates. Stop that! Scale 1 to 10? 20. How does it feel being back in Rialto? What does that mean? You can't talk. <laughs> Tron loves pozole. She only likes my mom. Ye? How is that pozole, Baba? Good. Good or amazing? Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Korean barbecue, it's amazing. How does it feel, Tron? To be back. <laughs> so this video of me and Tron eating Korean barbecue is a day after the Hopo Sole and picking her up from LAX. And we both hadn't had this in like over a year. So this is us eating it and she couldn't really 
eat much because she gets full too fast and she thought she was gonna eat a lot but i guess she ate more than we thought she would eat and so now for the shoulder video um uh, so i'm gonna explain how to make the shoulder shoulder workout more effective with light weight and what that means is every time i see people in the gym they're always going crazy with like lateral raises this is more specifically with lateral raises so in lateral raises people always try to go as heavy as they can and swing the weights really crazy and that's not what it's about you can get you know really focus on the way down and without swinging the weights without even have to go heavy at all well um, you know just um making more volume and more intensity you know increasing the reps and uh, the sets and maybe just adding a little bit of weight but not too much weight Whenever I see people do shoulders at the gym, they usually do seated dumbbell raises and lateral raises and maybe some rear delts. People try to get the heaviest amount of weight for their lateral raises and forget that it's an isolation movement and not a compound movement. And they forget that they can hurt their shoulders and or elbows. And then they bench heavy the next day and they complain about their shoulder problems but they have no idea why. But what it usually looks like is this. And it also looks like this. Or some people look like they're dancing. If people do use light weights and do about 15 reps and I see them go all the way down, they usually bounce it or go all the way down and swing slightly. And once they get to the 10th rep to finish those extra five, they start having bad form after that. I'm not an experienced ego lifter, but that was my first time doing that and my shoulders hurt so bad. So just because you've been doing that way for 10 years or more, doesn't mean it's shoulder friendly. If you're used to it, you're used to it, but doesn't mean it's shoulder friendly. You don't have to do it the way I'm doing it, but you can always try it with the same exact way you're doing and see how much harder it can be. I'm not making fun of people who do it this way, but I'm making, I'm, this is more to the people, all the people in the 11 years that I've worked out that tell me they lateral raise about 35 pound dumbbells and they're weaker than me like i know they're weaker than me and i say do you do good form they say yes i say do you swing no i say do you control on the way down they say yes i see them do it and they do exactly what i'm showing in the video and they go as heavy as they can and they swing so much and you can't even feel the contraction so sacrificing for them just to get those five reps when you could just stop at 10 or go lighter or just do 10 to 12 instead of trying to go 15 to 20 with this kind of form. One way you can make it more effective is going slow on the eccentric part of the movement, which is the way down for a lateral raise and not touching at the bottom and not bouncing at the bottom. So a way to do this is stop at about 25% of the movement on the way down, not all the way down, hold it and then go back up and slowly control the movement. For those who say it's not much of a difference to hold it 25 degrees, 25% 25 before you go down compared to all the way down, if that difference is so little, 
you can try a test, as you can see as I did here, just with 10 and 15 pound dumbbells. Holding all the way at the bottom does nothing for me at all. I'm not activating anything, I could do that all day with 100 pounds. So from all the way down to that 25%, you could see here that little difference makes a big difference just by the look on my face. So try holding, if you swing 50 pound dumbbells, try holding 50 pound dumbbells at about 25%, see how long you can do it. Now do the entire movement and see if you can go all the way down, hold it before you go down and then go back up. The same exact concept works for curls, whether it's dumbbells or barbell or easy bar curls. You can't say that an RDL is easier than a conventional or sumo deadlift where you go all the way down and touch the floor, or a spot press is easier than a bench press because you have to stop and isometrically hold it right before. You can apply this to anything, like a half squat, not saying to do a half squat, but it's harder to hold it at a half position or a little bit lower than parallel compared to going all the way down and bouncing up. As I've explained before, instead of doing a pronated grip on shoulders, try a neutral grip. As you can see in the video, it's an up and back movement and it's way more functional to doing a standing barbell press. The movement is up and back. I always go up and back. I don't go straight up. Some people do. If you do, that's a whole nother story. But it's way more functional and it helps a lot more, especially if you're having shoulder problems. It does not help to go this, do this and go all the way down and really sh like laterally adduct your shoulders when you're having problems instead of this this compared to that this movement it's more like a jumping jack this is way more what we need to do on a standing shoulder press it may sound obvious but instead of doing seated or standing dumbbell presses or barbell presses you can try the pronate uh neutral grip sorry and instead of working just the pretty much the front and lateral head you got to work the anterior lateral the anterior lateral and posterior head. The way you can do that is any kind of uh, shoulder press, whether it's barbell or dumbbell, explained before, some lateral raises, and of course the rear delts, of course. But there's other things that come into it, like the traps, the rhomboids. These are all the back of the shoulders, but well, they're more back muscles, but they complement the shoulders. So basic, simple movements would be shrugs, shoulder presses, rear delt, rear delt raises, but same slow and controlled, to name a few.
you can do that or a normal Arnold press. But you can see the difference in the video between the Arnold press with a pronated grip or an Arnold press between a neutral grip or just in general. Pronated and neutral, you can see the difference. It doesn't look very shoulder friendly in general. Shrugs can turn into a forearm grip workout, so you can always do them with or without straps, or farmer's holds or farmer's carries with or without straps. If you want to focus on shoulders, it would make sense to do it with straps. 